Uh, good day, just a, another quick video on how to make your live streams that wee bit better. So today I'm going to show you a very simple way to add an instant replay using OBS. Instant replays are fantastic. The lifter uh, walks on the platform, attempts their uh, their lift, their squat, bench or deadlift. And uh, on the conclusion of the attempt, we spend close to, you know, 30 seconds to a minute as uh, rack heights are changed, the bar is clean and reloaded, and we get reset for the next lifter. Now, normally there's nothing wrong with that, but depending on your live stream, it, uh, it can be very quiet and can be very boring, so why not fill the time in with an instant replay for people who are watching it live and may want to see what happened again, maybe slowed down, maybe from a different angle. Uh, it's all very simple to do in OBS, and I'm going to show you today how to do it. Okay, so we've loaded up OBS with a very simple scene. Now in this case, I'm just using recorded video. Obviously, you'd be setting that up with a video capture device. But in this case, make sure you pick video capture device with replay buffer. That's important to make sure that you're recording or you're, you're pulling in the right information to fill up the, uh, the replay. So now that we've generated our scene, um, click on the plus button down the bottom left to create a new scene. And to keep things nice and simple, I'm just going to call mine replay. Okay, now that we've added the replay scene, you need to add the replay source. This is a free download from the OBS website. So if you were to just Google OBS, replay source click download click on the installer it'll all be automatic and it should come up instantly so if you don't have the replay source in your sources options go and download the latest version of the replay source and uh, and come back and continue okay so you've added the replay source and there are a whole bunch of options now you can follow the tutorials on how to make this work but i'll talk you through the very basics and how to set it up perfectly for a powerlifting competition. Okay, so we've added our replay source. Right click, click on properties, and then we're gonna set the uh, the replay source up to work with the rest of our scene. So obviously the first thing that we need to do is tell the replay source where to get the replay data from. In my case, I've chosen video capture device with replay buffer, which is just the name of the camera that I'm using. But again, it could be the, uh, the video, it could be another camera or something. It doesn't even have to be the main camera that you're using for the live stream. So for squat, you might want to have a separate camera set up to capture a different angle, such as uh, a depth cam. And the same for bench press, you might have one from the head of the lifter and then the other one from the side or from the back, if you're able to do that. So choose them as a video source, and that is going to be the source that gets constantly recorded. So when you press the replay button, we're going to pull all of that information into the scene. Don't worry about capture internal frames. Now the audio source, do you want the audio to be recorded at the same time? Or do you want commentary to be played over the top live? Really important you get that right. Otherwise you might find that the commentator is talking over themselves or the audio, like the, the plates clanging and, and things that are happening happening at the time may, uh, I guess, uh, may interact or may, may not gel very well with the audio that was recorded when the lifter took their attempt. So you can choose an audio source or you can leave it blank. In this case, I've left mine blank. Set the duration to 15,000 milliseconds. This is 15 seconds. And this is really, uh, I want to say trial and error, but based on the pace at which most lifters complete their attempts and depending on the timing of your replay, it's pretty much spot on. That's where you want it. Uh, I've set the load delay to 100 milliseconds. So that's one tenth of a second. And that's just going to slow the start of the replay down. Maximum replays one. We only want it to happen once. Visibility action, set that to continue. That doesn't matter too much. Start delay, I've set that to zero. Now the next two are very important though. End action and next scene. So what we want to happen is we've got our main scene, which is the live shot, and we've got our replay scene. When we press the replay, or when we start the replay, we want it to play through the 15 seconds and then 
switch back automatically to the live scene. And this is how we do that. Set end action to hide after single, which means it will hide the scene at the end or at, at the end of a single replay. And then set the next scene back to your live scene. So we go from live scene into the replay, play the replay for 15 seconds, and then automatically jump back into the live. Works perfectly. Uh, speed percentage, obviously if you want, you can slow the speed down. So you might want to slowly, uh, sorry, you might want to delay um, the, the squat, or not delay the squat, you might want to slow the squat down so you can comment on the lifted step or technique. But I found a lot of the time you're going to want to leave it at 100% because you get some funny artifacts if you if you don't do that. Uh, the rest of them doesn't really matter too much, so we're going to leave them alone for now. Once you've finished with all of these settings, click OK, and we're almost ready to go. We've got one more step that we need to do, which is to trigger the uh, trigger the replay, and I'll show you how to do that now. The final thing that we need to sort out is the trigger to commence the replay. Now this has to be manually done. Unfortunately, there's no way for OBS to know when to automatically start the replay, but that is something that I'm working on in the background. What you want to do, click on settings down in the bottom right and click on the hotkeys menu. Now we need to assign a single key to three different actions and that will all make sense uh, once we once we try out the the replay, so find the replay scene, and we want to choose a hotkey. In this case, I'm choosing number zero, like the numpad zero, because it's out of the way, and that will be the trigger to switch to the replay scene. Now that isn't going to automatically start the replay. However, you also need to scroll down and find the replay source. And we need to assign numpad 0, once again, the same key. Yes, it'll throw an error, but it'll make sense, to two other features. And one is to load the replay, which will tell it to load all of the information that it's got in the 15 second buffer. And we also need to press restart as well. So we've got switch to the replay scene, restart and load all of the, uh, or load the, the replay information rather. So they're the three triggers that we need, all off the same key on the keyboard. Hit OK and you are done. If you were to press your hotkey now, you will find that the replay will, um, will play, it'll, it'll trigger automatically and it'll show you the last 15 seconds of video. And I'll give you a demonstration of that in just a second. All right, so I've got my scene set up. I've done one cheeky other thing and I've added a copy of this video onto the replay scene. So I've got my face on the main part of the screen and then down in the corner, we've added the replay uh, source. The replay source is only in the corner and that will all make sense in a second. So I'm going to count with my fingers really, really badly. I apologize. I have the flexibility of a power lifter and I can't count. Okay, so I've just counted to 10. I'm going to press the replay button and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there's me talking and there we go. So I've just started counting. Um, turns out my 10 seconds is a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, and there you go. So there's an instant replay of whatever was happening on the big screen, in this case being played down the bottom. But, uh, you know, there are many different things that you can do with this. And, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that that was kind of useful for people who are making powerlifting live streams.